from a thief that was caught red-handed to a home invasion caught on camera. Here are five shocking moments caught on Twitch. Number one, neighbor attempts to rob house. On the 1st of January, 2015, at around 11.30 p.m., police knocked on the door of YouTuber and Twitch streamer, Mr. 13IG, or Mr. Big. They had received a noise complaint and came to investigate. Mr. Big refused to give his name, as he knew he'd done nothing wrong and didn't want to, as he was in his own house. Because of his refusal, police decided to arrest him. He was cuffed and taken away. Why are you guys harassing me? You guys are taking me out of view of the camera. I'm doing nothing wrong. Less than a minute later, a neighbor had noticed the door wasn't locked and took the opportunity to rob the place. Unfortunately for him, Mr. Big's webcam was still running and caught the whole thing. The Twitch moderators called and informed the police of the robbery and the neighbor was quickly arrested. He is now in jail on felony charges. Number 2. Kutra Gets Swatted Swatting is the act of calling an emergency service with a false report in order to have an armed SWAT team turn up at an unsuspecting person's house. In 2014, police received an anonymous report from someone claiming that Jordan Matthewson, otherwise known as Kutra, had just shot two people and was holding hostages at gunpoint at the Creatures offices in Littleton, Colorado. At the time, Kutra was streaming Counter-Strike when he began to hear noises from outside the room he was in and immediately came to the realization that he was being swatted. They're clearing rooms. What in the world? I think we're getting swatted. I think we're getting swatted. What in the world? Get on the ground! Get on the ground! Put your hands behind your back! Put your hands behind your back! Get out! Don't you fucking move. You hear me, boy? David, we got one in custody. Yeah, they got me one in custody. What's your name? Lincoln 2, address is 1221 West Mineral Avenue. Command is at 1221 West Mineral Avenue. We have more than arrested. Copy, Jordan in custody, Charles Ford. What about this is funny to you? What? I'm not doing anything that's funny. Terrorists, we Stand up. Separate your feet. Three nearby schools were locked down for an hour while police investigated the alleged shooting. Police quickly realized there was a prank call and let Kutra go. The person that made the call has not been identified. Number 3. Streamer Burns Down House In October 2015, Japanese streamer Ushiro accidentally burned down his apartment while live streaming Minecraft on Twitch. He is seen with a cigarette hanging out of his mouth and was streaming when he started playing around with an oil-based lighter and matches. After attempting to light a match, the entire box was set on fire and Ushiro threw it into a bin bag full of paper. Oh. <laughs> 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 no. 
Realizing his mistake, the stream removed the bin to the other side of the room and attempted to put the small blaze out. He decided to use cardboard boxes and a dry blanket to extinguish the flames. Unsurprisingly, it just made things worse. He then tried throwing water onto the fire, but it was too late. It is not clear whether anybody was injured as a result of the fire, as there are many conflicting reports. Number 4. Twitch Scammer Angel Hamilton, aka Zillion OP, was a popular Twitch streamer who streamed himself playing games for around 8-12 to 12 hours a day. Zillion happened to be in a wheelchair, as he claimed to be paralyzed from the waist down. Like most people on Twitch, Zillion allowed users to donate to him to help better the stream or to personally help out. All in all, he reportedly received around $20,000 in donations, including a $2,000 donation for a new wheelchair. On April 5th, 2013, Zillion streamed himself playing Diablo 3. During the stream, viewers were shocked to see the disabled man casually stand up and walk off camera. It is believed that Zillion thought his camera was off, and once he realized it wasn't, he tilted it down and returned to his wheelchair. His girlfriend, who also took part in his streams, can be heard saying, oh my god, as he stood up as she knew he had just messed up and everyone on the stream had seen the goof. She then begins to tell a story to try and distract viewers. Dog, oh my god, we took our dog um, like to the fish shop today because the dog loves just like going out and meeting new people and we constantly have to take him to like be introduced to new like random people and stuff so he hangs out at fish shops and stuff because like we love talking to the people there anyways. Um, and there were just a bunch of people that like came in at, like a bunch of customers that came in just like in this huge flow and he got scared and like came and sat on my lap and then I was like oh this is so cute like he's cuddling with me because he's scared he stands up he took a leak on my lap I'm back <laughs> hey angel hi is everybody already leave? yeah my uncle had to go cause it's easily out easily outgeared Oh my god! Zillion later attempted to explain himself by saying he had actually fallen because his dog was dumping water on his wires and he tried to stop any damage to his computer. Twitch has since shut down his and his girlfriend's channels for violating their terms of service on the basis of fraud and has offered refunds to anyone that subscribed to the channel. Number 5. Sajidine Robbed at Gunpoint on June 9, 2014, Twitch streamer Nikki Elise, known online as Sajidane, and her boyfriend, Suns Fan, were robbed at gunpoint in their home in Arizona. At the time, Sajidane was streaming Dota 2 on Twitch when she heard a loud bang and went to investigate. Oh, what the hell? Two gunmen were in her home and demanded her and her boyfriend to get on the ground. We can see one of the robbers walk into the room where the camera is with a gun in hand.
The incident took place around 4 a.m. Viewers of the stream from around the world informed police of the home invasion. Thankfully, both Sajidine and Sun's fan were not harmed during the robbery. Due to the many calls from viewers, police quickly arrived at the home and arrested one of the suspects. It later turned out that the couple were not the original intended targets of the robbery. It is unclear whether they found and arrested the other robber. Sajidine has uploaded a video describing the incident in detail. You can find the link in the description. Thanks for watching. If you'd like to see more videos like this, and you know, if you haven't already, then please subscribe.